Hi everyone, I'm Kate Freeman and today is our first day of the flash class or the first flash class uh, for magical gratitude. I've been wanting to talk about gratitude for some time because it's such a powerful thing and oftentimes it's it's forgotten about, it's underestimated. It's really um, just not in our realm. And as we become aware, as we become aware of gratitude and what it means to us and to others that perhaps we're grateful to, it really can be a deep shift in us and perhaps even in them. If you look back at the time when you were a small child and someone gave you something or took you someplace that you really enjoyed, remember how you were? You were excited and effervescent and really just out there with it. There wasn't any, oh, thank you. It was like, oh, wow, I can't believe it. Oh, how wonderful. And that heartfelt gratitude makes everybody around us feel whole, complete, and beautiful. So, it, I'm not suggesting that you fake that youthful exuberance, but I'm suggesting that perhaps it's still there, if you really look. When someone gives you a gift, notice how it feels inside. When you're grateful, when you really focused in your heart, and appreciating their generosity, their love, their, their sweetness to you. See if you can get in touch with it right now. Notice what happens when you're grateful. Notice how it opens your heart. See if you can think of something that you're grateful for right now. Maybe two or three things. Just take a minute. Can you think of something you're grateful for? See if you can feel it as that gratitude moves through you. Can you allow it to really flower? The gratitude, the thankfulness, that miraculous, it really is. It's, it's magical, miraculous gratitude. Because as it opens us, we're open to love and to manifesting and to having more of whatever it is we're grateful for and even other things. So the gratitude takes us to a positive place. It's, it's not a, an act or something we put on. It comes directly from our heart. So the course that we're going to be doing starting this weekend is going to go in depth into the gratitude. And of course, some of us are naturally more grateful than others. Um, my grandchildren often are just so excited about gifts that they get that it's more fun to watch them than it is to open our own gifts. So see if you can find that thankfulness and that gratitude that you, uh, that you have inside you. I want to make a suggestion too. 
find someone that you really haven't thanked and you'd like to. And either write them a note or call them up and tell them from your heart what it meant to you. And notice how it feels when you really say how grateful you are and what it meant to you. It's really like receiving it again. And for them, it's like being acknowledged for their gift. Lester used to suggest to us that we um, pick agreements with people. Uh, it, when you're releasing, oftentimes you're always looking for what's the next thing I can let go of. What's the next thing that I really would want to be rid of? And he said, sometimes it's really nice to pick agreements. And gratitude's a bit like that. It's really looking for the very positive and the beauty and the love in life, rather than just, what's the next thing I can let go of? So it's a way that we can flower within ourselves that, um, that opens us for more. So if you, if you thought of two or three things that you're grateful for, see how it feels when you look at them. Notice if you feel your heart opening. Just that simple opening of your heart allows the love to flow even more. It allows us to give the giver a gift too which is our gratitude. So it's a beautiful circle of love, of gratitude, when we get a gift and we thank someone who gave it. So, and to be more grateful and to, to uh, experience the joy of gratitude just notice during the day all the things that you're receiving. There's a beautiful tree in the yard outside. I probably should have had the film out there, huh? There's a beautiful tree. It's many different colors this time of year. And it's just every morning I get up and I look out the window and I see all these different colors of leaves. And I just feel pure gratitude as I look at the tree. It's red and purple and green and yellow this time of year. Just an incredible beauty to it. And lots of times I think we don't take time to really be grateful for what's in our life. We, we walk past that beautiful meal that somebody fixed for us. Or maybe we fixed for us. <laughs> so as our gratitude begins to show up more, we actually enjoy everything more. So as you go through these next couple of days, see if you can just begin to notice What's in your life that's so wonderful? What's in your life that makes it wonderful? Sometimes we don't even notice. You know, we have beautiful soft sheets on our bed, nice and clean. We don't even notice. Our water is clean and clear and quenches our thirst, and we don't even notice. So start to look for things you agree with, those agreements that Lester suggested we look for. And see if you can be grateful for all those things that you agree with. 
And if someone gives you something or holds the door for you or makes you a meal, gives you a hug, we could all use more hugs these days. See if you can really appreciate it from your heart. It isn't always with words. Sometimes it's just simply doing that, touching our heart. Sometimes it's writing a little note or an email or a text. It can be so simple, but when we share that gratitude, our heart opens and it's ready for more. So it's the first step to really begin to be ready to have more. So if you're in a place right now where you could use more of something in your life, more love, more, um, more money, uh, a new job, a new whatever, See if you can just begin to be grateful for the things that show up. And see if you can be grateful in advance of what it is you're wanting. Step into it. Notice that as you step into it and you're grateful for it, you feel you really have it. This is this is a very important part of allowing gratitude to fill your life. As gratitude fills your life, your life is filled with many other things and people and qualities. So gratitude lets you make the space for what it is you're wanting. So. Could you allow more gratitude, more and more and more? And if you'll come back Wednesday about the same time, we'll be talking about how to really implement this in your life. That'll be Wednesday. So I look forward to seeing you then. And uh, bring your friends. I'm so grateful you're here. Truly. Lots of love to you. Bye now.